Hey everybody. So, the big question everybody wants to know. How was treatment? Treatment was amazing. Seriously. Seriously. You should go. You should battle your insurance company to the death to let you go to treatment. Oh my goodness, it was wonderful. I mean, yeah, you're gonna hate the part where they make you eat and you don't want to. But, you know, I always told myself, like, I'm not gonna like it, but I'm gonna eat it. I know I'm gonna eat it, because that's what I'm here for. I'm here to get better, and, you know, I surrender to my treatment team. They know better than I do. I know they know better than I do, because I've been trying to manage my ED and my life, and it hasn't been working, so... And, you know, they have degrees in this and this is their job to like not let me get away with anything and it's not my job it's their job so I'll let them do their job and they're at least at Timberline Knowles they're darn good at it so um it was freedom it was freedom I didn't have to do my ED behaviors anymore because they didn't let me um, and I didn't have to drink anymore because they didn't let me. It was just, in addition to that, like, I actually started working on some of the things that, that I needed to work on. There was actual healing that took place there. Actual healing. I'm definitely without a shadow of a doubt I know that I'm 100% better than I was when I went in I can see the progress and I can be proud of myself and I can be so grateful that being said when I was in treatment and I learned that I was leaving I was hopeful because I knew the treatment had worked. I knew there was progress. I felt the progress. So I was excited about discharging, but when I discharged, I was disappointed to learn that life was still there and the mess that I left behind had not been cleaned up as far as the unsustainable life that I'd been leading and people who hadn't forgiven or who had forgiven but not forgotten um and I was most disappointed of all to discover that I still have an ED <laughs> I still have an ED that place didn't cure me um they gave me healing they gave me tools, but the healing is not complete. I wasn't there for long enough, and immediately after I got out, I started backsliding. I followed my meal plan for like two days, and then I just, without the support that I experienced in there, I can't eat. You know, if I'm not sitting at a ch table of of girls cheering me on, it's, it's not gonna happen. Um, and it sucks because I know how good it feels to be behavior free. I was really looking forward to life without an ED. I experienced a taste of life without an ED and that made me want it even more. Made me want life without an ED even more because I, I had a taste of freedom and getting out and discovering that I'm not free is just, it sucks.
that I'm gonna need more treatment, I'm gonna need to throw myself back into the quest to be sick enough to get more treatment. But, um, it's, man, like, the healing that happened there, it's not undone. It's not undone. I'm better now than I went in. I'm better now than I was when I went in. Even though I'm not completely fixed, and even though I'm relapsing, I am definitely, I'm better now than I was when I went in, because stuff got dealt with. Stuff got dealt with in there, and I just... I wasn't there for long enough, so, you know, even if you relapse, you'll still be better than you were when you went in if you give yourself to the program and trust the program and really be honest. So I encourage everybody who's considering residential to go for it because it was really wonderful. It was really wonderful. I loved it. Um, it was, it was great, it was, it was so, so great, I, like, like, think about, think about living in freedom, think about not having to do your behaviors, think about, you know, somebody who won't, like, a whole bubble of support that won't let you get away with your bullshit, like, how great would that be? And it was really great for me, so. That's how treatment was. Um, this is the conclusion of this video.